Agent Sushi, what are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? Are you here to supervise the building of the new cougar exhibit? Oh, yes. Yes, you are, are you? Well, good kitty. Good kitty. I much approve of that. Do I have any fish? I don't have any fish on me. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of building quite a few uh, tree-related things. Is that it? You wanted a tree to climb? I'll build you a creeper later, okay? A little creeper scratching post. Yeah, you like that idea, don't you, Agent Sushi? Aw, Agent Sushi is such a sweet cat. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. We are here today working on the cougar exhibit, which, if you recall, we did a pretty darn good job last time, um, flooding the entire thing. <laughs> but I have got that fixed, and now we have the waterfall looking great. I love how our tree is behind it. That is absolutely fantastic. One day it would be amazing to find more of those sacred oak saplings. Man, that was a great find. That was a good 50th episode. Hopefully when we summon the meteor, that'll be another good 100th episode. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, by the way, check it out. We're working on the pathway in front of the cougar exhibit, and I'm actually really pleased with where it's going so far. There need to be more leaves on both sides, so don't freak out. There's going to be leaves there. But basically, you walk under it, and it's got this nice little glowstone lantern, little archway feel going on. And then we're going to have, like, plants and all sorts of fun things over here. And a chest with a book about the cougars, which is going to be really fun because cougars are one of my favorite big mammals. They really are, Agent Sushi. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Meow. Agent Sushi, silly. You're you're not you're not a big cougar. You're you are a security cat. An excellent secu don't look at me like that. Oh, I'm getting judged. I'm getting judged so hard. Anyway, we are still working on the cougar exhibit, but I kinda got sidetracked with this really awesome project working on this thing! Yay! It looks like a mess! Yay! Let me jump away so that you can kind of get an idea of what we're building over here. Because over here... Ooh. Ooh. Meteor pieces, huh? Jeez Louise, you can see where meteors have struck everywhere. And actually, a meteor struck over there, so it might be a good idea to get another meteor shield. Man, we need to put a lot of those down. But they're important. Sun's also going down. But look, we are building this tree. So I'm pretty excited about where this tree is going. Um, sort of. It looks really bad right now. And I'm thinking we might add some minor branches. Like a branch right here. Maybe a branch over there. To kind of even things out. But this is going to be a tree that kind of acts like a, a portal into the forest area. You walk in and it'll be all nice. And we'll have some decorative pieces. And you can walk out onto the forest path. And if you come over here, and you walk down, and I want to get like some cool mushrooms and some cool little like mm, vines. I wish we had worms or something fun we could put down here. And then you walk down into the tunnel that goes under so that you have the eye-to-eye -eye cougar looking areas. I need to see how that's going to come out though. I'm still not sure if the tunnel is deep enough. And then up top here, windy, 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 windy is gonna be like a nice observatory viewing area. And I'm also, and that's what we're gonna work on this episode because I've gotten attached to the idea, gonna put some hammocks right here. That's right, hammocks. And I'm pretty excited for my idea of how I'm going to build those hammocks. But first things first, let's get in bed because there's a spider. Wait, you, hey, hey, none of this nonsense. Also check it out. Mud Pie is now happily contained in his own little zone next to our house. <laughs> I really do like Mud Pie. I'm getting quite attached to him. He's a pretty cool... I almost said donkey. Mud Pie is not a donkey. Mud Pie is a goat. I know my, my four-legged hoofed animals. Thank you very much. Pretty sure. Pretty sure, Captain Kaz. Pretty sure. Hmm. Man, being at home is so nice. We're normally out adventuring and, and having to gather things from the farthest corners. But you know what? Being back here at home where we belong. It just feels good. Having all of these awesome recipes and things to read over from Hearthstone. I just want to like, yeah, I'm going to start my, my morning with some delicious hot chocolate in a little bit. And it just feels right. I like this. Man, we've adventured far afield, but I just walked in the dog food. Ugh, all over my shoes. <laughs> but it just feels nice to know that we're at home. And what the heck is that? Oh, it's just a horse. Just a weird looking horse. Hello, Mud Pie. I do like how the apple orchard is coming along too. But yes, so this time around, 
Uh, the, and the tree is still in progress. I think it looks a little bit silly right now, so forgive me. We'll work on that a little bit. But let's go grab some wool, because I do want to try this out. I have just this idea and a new mod that should really help with decorating things. And this is actually something that you guys told me to try out. And at first I was like, what is that? And when I looked it up, it didn't make much sense. And you are snake food? None of that nonsense, Mr. Sh Mr. Rat. Ugh, didn't even get any meat from him. Oh well, we'll get snake food later. Do you know what else might be really nice? Ooh, and I can't wait till we get a bunch of you, because I think you guys are so cute. Oh, look at the little ant. Oh. Also, I've been thinking um, of adding more texture packs so that we can have more types of, of, uh, no. What was that? Oh no, is that an escaped elephant? No, she's just pushing the boundaries. She's pushing the boundaries. Goodness. Goodness gracious, you guys. Goodness gracious. How are you doing, Chocobo? Doing good? I feel like something's missing over here. Did I ever fix my farm? Tell me I fixed my farm. Hmm. Yeah, I repaired the fencing. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Oh, Mr. Sheep, actually, I'm here for your wool. Thank you very much. And thank you. I think the meteors are actually what's making everything kind of lag lately, which makes me sad, because I do love my meteor mods. Why are we down on sheep? We shouldn't be down on sheep. This entire pen should be full of sheep. Mr. Sheep, what? Ah, oh, dang it. Maybe that's why we're down on sheep. <laughs> I unintentionally let them out. You know what? Gates should be easier to find. Just thinking about that. Alright, but yeah, I think the meteor... Uh, the meteor mods are actually why things have slowed down. Where did all my white wool go? Did I really trade it all away in the Village of Light? Oh, dum-dum. I needed tons of it for this project. Well, fudge knuckles. I guess we might as well have to just hurry and try to breed up some more, more sheep. Here, yeah, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Okay, you, Mr. Sheepy. And you, Miss Sheepy. Sheep baby? Sheep baby! Yay! Also, you. See, we get away from the, the meteor dad, and everything gets faster. Yay, baby sheepy! Okay, I think... Uh, I don't have to get rid of our meteors, though. I love our meteors. They're so fun. They add so much. It's, oh, I was getting more wheat. Alright, let's breed up some more sheepies. Can I breed you? No, you already had a baby. Can I breed you? But who would I breed you with? Why am I low on sheep? I'm not low on chocobo. Where are my cows? I have a moosh room right there. Where are my regular cows? Oh dear. Something's going down. This is what happens when you don't have anyone monitoring your farm for you. Hmm. All the more reason I wanted to cure that villager. He probably is gone by now, but Rarg might still be here. Well, drop bucket. Um. 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 I can none of you. Hey, you. You want to eat this? Oh, no thank you, Cinnamon. Actually, I didn't want to get on your back. Dang it, guys! Where'd all my normal cows go? They're missing, but we did, we did have the barn get hit by a meteor. So I will admit that there may have been some loss of our regular cows at that time. Hi, cutie pies! Look at the babies! Look at the babies! They're so cute! You're so cute, babies! So cute! Oops. Uh, no baby. Well, okay, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because my idea for making the hammocks involved utilizing a lot of wool. And it appears we do not have uh, the lot of wool that I was relying on. So we might work on something else. Possibly more cougar related <laughs> than working on some hammocks. Oh, and I can't wait to work on the, the illumination garden. Look at that good loyal cat I have sitting there. Good kitty. Good security cat. I can't wait to build them their own little security area and make them their own little creeper scratching post. Why am I looking at that? I don't need to be looking at that. Okay, let's check here for wool. <gasps> wool! Yay! Yay! So happy. I need this. How are you doing, Captain Cass? I also don't need these. Get out of, get out of here. Feathers, honestly. Alright. 
So let's come over here. By the way, I did spend our levels on a new pickaxe. It is not silk touch. It's not even like it's fortune two on breaking three. And efficiency four. So it's decent for mining. Um, but we already have a fortune three pickaxe, so I I keep the fortune three pickaxe in my special my special chest of specialness. Where I keep things I really like. I heard a baby zombie! If you show up, baby zombie, you're going in my baby zombie daycare. You have been forewarned. All right. So next up, we're going to make some beds. Oh yeah, I forgot to eat my hot chocolate. Okay, we'll enjoy our hot chocolate if this works. Reclining comfortably in our beds. Let's see. I hear you, baby zombie. I don't see you. That is a beautiful horse. I would love to breed that horse with cinnamon. Oh. Well, Mr. Tree, you're just like eating my crafting tables, honestly. How's a girl supposed to craft herself some beds if you're eating my crafting tables, huh? All right, we're gonna go ahead and just a couple beds. Whoops, there we go. One bed, two bed. All right, so you guys are probably going, but Siri, how will this work? How are you going to make hammocks? Well, hopefully this will be pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. So let's see. We're gonna come over here, and then, let's see, we'll put hammock number one right here. Mm -hmm. Need to come up a little bit so we can get some work done. There's that, uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's come here. Hey, no lag. Don't be dumb. I really am worried that these are the meteors. I can sacrifice the meteors for the sake of the zoo, though. I just would really miss it. Not to mention, I'd miss our cats. And we haven't even gotten our meteor cats yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So basically, I want the bed to be right here. Yeah. Okay, come here, bed. So we would put the bed right here. Yes, maybe. Is that good? I need to get up in the bed to see if that's a good height. Okay. Oh, oh, see? Right away we find out that that's not a good height because I can't even get in the bed. Because there's a tree branch in the way. So we're going to fix this. S bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm thinking this will be pretty cool, especially once I whip out the super duper special mods. Plus, if it turns into night, we can just pop into the bed right here. Voila! That'd be really cool. All right, so there's that. And... Next up, hmm, how do I want to do this next step? Let's make another crafting table because I, I want to see if I can do something. All right, I'm going to come over here. Thank you, crafting table. And, ooh, I can make some white wool slabs. Thank you very much, slab craft. Gotta love being able to make slabs out of absolutely anything you need to. And then, let's see, but... This part might be tricky, so... Hmm. Oh, okay. Good, I can drop down here. There we go. So there's one. Like I said, bear with me, guys. This is gonna make sense. I'm actually pretty excited if this idea works. So, basically, like, there's the bottom part, right? There's the bottom part to the hammock. And this is totally relevant because this is part of the zoo... The, the zoo entertainment thing. I mean, look how cool this would be. If you could jump up in this hammock and turn around and look over the deer exhibit. Right now you can see our cougar at least. See, look at her checking stuff out. And you can kind of see our reptile exhibit. You can just kind of look around, turn over here, look straight forward and see the tree of illumination. Can I sleep yet? Nope, can't sleep yet. All right, and now while we wait for sleep, what we're going to use to finish the hammock to make it look like a real hammock still can't sleep and forgive me I don't think there's any way to craft this so what we're doing what in a wand wand oh I can't wait to use these that's for later though that's another wand to show off okay the little blocks wand Yee! okay go there go there egg can't sleep yet it is night <laughs> let me sleep the little blocks wand which is going to totally revolutionize can't sleep yet let me sleep let me sleep okay there we go. Ha! <laughs> Trying out our hammock. This is so cool. I mean, look at this. And then you wake up, 
and you're kind of floating, and that might kind of be a bad thing. So, no, Mr. Horse, you can't climb trees. Get down. Here, you want an apple? Is that why you're doing this? Oh, I'm magnetic right now. I'm sorry. I can't throw apples. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, so we might have to, like, put a little platform down, but we can totally do that. But it's the little box wand. So what you can do with this puppy is apparently forget that you're in creative and break things. Whoops. There we go. This hopefully will allow us to add a whole new depth to everything that we do. Hmm. I didn't use it right yet. And there. Did I use it right now? I don't think I did yet. Come on. You. Whoop! There we go! Using it right now! Okay, got those back. Um. Oh, is it because it's a half slab? Dude! Come on! Okay. Let me see if I can. Ooh, let's do it here. Yeah. Here and here. So basically, what happens now is not that still working on this trying to make it sound like a grand reveal oh there we go there we go okay now i got it now i got it now i got it now we can come up here and very carefully because it's kind of tricky to use this i'm finding oops see very carefully i'm so glad i'm magnetic right now <laughs> You can place these blocks in teensy tiny little formations so you can do a whole new level of customization. I've been tinkering around with it a little bit and I'm actually pretty excited for where I think this is going to let us go. Hmm. Just it's being fussy about letting me decorate on the side of these blocks. And I was really hoping I could just come down here. Let's see. Come on. Kind of like this. See? And I could just come out a little bit more. And... <laughs> and don't worry, this is really going to be a project that I do primarily off camera. Because I think it's going to take me a long time to do. And I have a feeling I'm going to fall down a lot because I just about fell then. See? But the little blocks. I present to you little blocks. Little itty bitty blocks. Used in the most anticlimactic way ever. By constructing a hammock to hang in the bed. But I think it'll work. I think we're going to tumble down to our death and doom. Oh, come here. What are you doing over there? No. Where are you going? No. Stop. Oh, no. Hey, you. That's better. Ooh. Ooh. I could use some of the little blocks to make it look like there's little, like, fungus growing things. Oh, man. But anyway... <laughs> As I'm speaking, I'm realizing this is probably super duper anticlimactic and you guys would like to see more cougar cave building action. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense about how I'm going to make this like blend down and turn into this awesome little hammock thing. And don't worry, I'm going to work on most of that off camera. But look, we're going to have hammocks. We're going to have little hammocks. And I'll make like a little, uh, I think I'll probably make a little platform kind of coming out right here. Because otherwise, I predict a lot of tumbling down to death and pain. So here's our tree. Still lots of work to do here. We're going to have cool little hammocks to hang up. The little blocks mod is absolutely amazing and it opens up so much potential for decorating the zoo. So thank you very much to the people who suggested that. And as for the cougar exhibit, I'm going to use the little blocks mod to actually do some more stone work right over there. So I'm pretty excited about that to, to like make the cave look really nice. So instead of where you see these rough blocks right here, it'll more naturally smooth down instead of being so blocky. Even though we are playing a game of blocks. A game of blocks, Agent Sushi. Hmm. And other than that, we're going to start putting some plants around. I'm not sure about this walkway because I don't want our cougar to fall. So I think I might actually make this a little growing pattern instead where we plant a whole bunch of plants along here kind of as a decorative piece um, and then pull it in by a block or two. So like all these will come in to right there probably. Hello fly. <laughs> I still can't believe this is where we got mud pie. And mud pie, what a name! I don't know what stroke of genius hit me, but I, I freaking love that goat already. I'm gonna have to make sure he's okay and protect him. 
like I try with all my animals. All right, but yeah, here we go. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just gonna like make a little boulder or something so that she, she can't climb. Yeah, like a one-sided boulder. That'll be good. Do I have any stone? Not on me right now. So she can't climb over it and that'll still be an area where she can recline and kind of enjoy herself. And then, yeah, we'll put some vines. Um, hmm, maybe do some outcroppings in a few more places. Just a couple like over here so that we can put more plants along the side. It won't just be this dirt, 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 dirt. If you guys have any ideas how we could break up that dirt to make it more interesting, should we replace more of it with stone? Should we do some little indents and like put a plant inside? Mm, we'll have to think about it. We'll come up with some creative ideas. But really, I actually think that this exhibit's gonna come together pretty fast. So this is fun. This is this is a lot easier when you've got the resources right with you. But I'm enjoying the path. The path is awesome. The ideas you guys have were awesome. I can't wait to get the hammock finished. That's gonna be a little bit of a project. But I mean, look how good it looks already. And just imagine, it'll like swing down. It'll swing up around the bed a little bit, kind of come up to the top of the bed. And it'll just look like a hammock hanging there in the tree. So I think that'll look really nice. That horse is seriously, I see you, I see you. That horse is seriously tempting me to tame it because it looks so awesome. Is our cougar still there? Wait, 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 none of this. Oh, there she is. Eyeing up that spot that the other cougar dug her way out though. Hmm, we'll keep an eye on her. We'll keep an eye on her. I've got my eye on you, Mr. or Miss Cougar. All right, all right. But yep, giant tree in the progress, uh, hammocks in progress. I'll work on those off camera because it's going to take me a while to figure out where to put these teensy blocks. But I love these teensy blocks. I think they're exceptionally useful. Uh, if you guys have ideas for what you would like me to build with the teensy itsy bitsy blocks, let me know. I already tried a miniature aquarium and tried putting the fish inside the miniature aquarium and it doesn't work. But you can make really cool miniature terrariums and I'm going to do like some really fun... Um, Ant hills eventually we can make a really cool little ant hill with the teeny blocks so that'll be fun and we're still working on getting the passports lined up aren't we agent sushi so that we can have guests come because I want to have guests come but we have some issues but I think I'm gonna figure out a way to solve them Meow. But yeah, okay, next time, I promise, more focused work on the actual cougar exhibit, smoothing a few things out, putting some plants in, kind of decorating anything. If you have suggestions, toss them in now, because then that'll let me know how to help uh, finish this area off. I'm thinking hay in the cave, uh, a water trow in the cave, even though she's got some fresh water. Maybe, hmm. I kind of like the look of it. I don't really want to make it still water and put fish in this one. I think she'll she'll be okay. Uh, definitely like a tree. Maybe we can put a custom tree right here. Kind of just right there. Maybe a custom tree over here. That might look really good right there actually. So you guys give me some suggestions for what we're going to do with Mala's exhibit. And we'll work on that and finish it up. And actually I think it's going to finish up really fast. And then it's the exhibit for the bears because we already have the bears. And then we start on even more things like the duck ponds and whatnot. Don't we Agent Sushi? You're such a good cat. I'm so glad you wanted to come here to sit and hang out with us while we finish these exhibits. But it's actually looking a little bit, especially with these posts, like a real zoo now. And kind of freaking me out because it's looking like a real zoo. <laughs> Which is amazing and awesome and I'm going to get back to work. I'm so excited and tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow's my birthday, Agent Sushi. So I'm going to make a hammock so that we can relax in the hammock and drink the hot cocoa that's still in my inventory. And I can go happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. I'm not 103, happy birthday to me. And then maybe, <gasps> Asian Sushi, because it's my birthday, maybe, maybe I'll give myself a present and I'll let myself, <gasps> I'll cheat in one of my favorite flowers. Whoops, wrong button. Favorite flowers. Oh, just because it's my birthday present to myself. And then I'll put it somewhere because I love flowers. That sounds fair, Agent Sushi. It's my birthday, honestly. Ah. <sighs> But all right, got distracted guys. Sorry, I'm a little excited. <laughs> and we'll get back to work on the cougar exhibit. And I will be telling you guys some more facts about the cougar, also known as the mountain lion or the catamount agent sushi. Catamount, I love that, that word. Um, you know, there's even a panther. Panther is another name. There's several names for the cougar. The beautiful American cougar, which is historically through the entire range of all the Americas. 
to some extent still is, though it's largely separated by subspecies at this time. But like I said, I'll tell you guys some more facts about the cougar next time as we finish up Myla's exhibit. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.